Hello everyone and welcome to Web3D Consortium's annual member meeting. This is our first virtual meeting and most of us are coming to you from our homes. We hope you all are safe. Uh, thank you for taking the time to join us today to learn about our organization and our standard. I am Anita Havele, the Executive Director of Web3D Consortium. We have a lot to share today from how our standard is evolving to how our members are deploying 3D applications. You will meet several of our leaders today who together with our community are making this happen. I'm going to start the meeting with uh, an overview of uh, Web3D and X3D and some highlights. Uh, we will continue uh, with uh, some of our member use cases, followed by a working group uh, activities. And then we will wrap up the meeting with discussions on strategies and roadmap for 2020 and 2021. So who are we? We are an international nonprofit member-funded standards development organization. Uh, we promote uh, an, uh, the ISO standard XBD and HNM, which offers robust 3D functionality along with interoperability, which allows uh, 3D scenes to be used widely in different domains. Um, we are backward compatible, so there is long-term archivability and long-term stability for your 3D solutions. We engage with the community of technologists, enterprise, and also artists and hobbyists. Uh, our members span from academia, industry, government, and professionals. So what are our goals? Our goals our really our most important goal is to encourage enterprises and industry to use open standards. And we do that by empowering 3D and VR developers, uh, by evolving our web-based 3D technologies, and also guiding policymakers um, to use open standards for 3D applications. So currently we have two active standards. One is X3D, it's in version 3.3, and HNM version 2.0. Uh, these are both ISO ratified standards. Um, we have X3D version 4.0 in public draft now. So now is a great time to participate in our Web3D working groups where most of this work is being done. So what is X3D? X3D is Extensible 3D. It's uh, a standard for publishing, viewing, printing, and archiving interactive 3D models. It's a language to add 3D models, uh, geospatial imagery, and other 3D assets into one system, into one application. So X3D is next generation VR ML. This is for those of you who are not aware of this. X3D, X, X3D started as an XML encoding of Wormel. Wormel is a subset of X3D. Um, so now X3D has superseded Wormel. We have added shaders, geolocations, and other cutting edge uh, 3D features. And we also support several application domains from medicine to 3D printing through GIS. So uh, X3D is being used in business critical applications and in different domains. So X3D is a scene graph for real time interactive at 3D. So it's a high level scene graph that describes many geometry types, lights, interaction, animation, etc. It's a logical event driven representation of graphical scenes, a collection of nodes in a graph or a tree structure. So there are multiple encodings available, XML, classic VRML, compressed binary, JSON, 
multiple APIs, uh, JavaScript uh, to Python, and it's HTML5 and CSS compatible. So X3D is basically publishing interactive 3D to the web. It's a language, again, to add different 3D assets into one interactive 3D application. It's profile and uh, component structure to promote interoperability. And he, it has pretty much all the features you would need to create a high-end 3D application. Web is our platform, so you can have 3D anywhere. It runs on multiple devices, phone, tablets, desktop, caves, used in multiple domains, medical, geospatial, 3D printing and scanning, CAD and more. It has interact interactivity and also animation. Uh, we do have uh, two uh, open source implementations that are widely used uh, in our community. Uh, these are JavaScript API X3D browsers, X3DOM and Xside. Uh, they use WebGL for native rendering and no plugins required. Standalone X3 browsers are also available. Uh, Instant Reality and BS Content are the ones that are used extensively. So let's look at some of the technologies that are available out there. And uh, uh, we all are familiar with the GL, GLTF, and XVD. So uh, we look at it this way, that each of these technologies have a place in the ecosystem. X3D is for declarative 3D for web programmers, where you declare a box. And then we have two implementations for the rendering, which is X3 DOM and Xside. And these use uh, WebGL supported browsers. If you want a standalone option, then you have uh, browsers uh, like uh, Instant Reality and BS Contact. Whereas WebGL is an imperative, um, imperative uh, method of declaring 3D mostly for graphics programmers, where you define a box and it's rendered using WebGL. GLTF is an efficient transportable 3D asset. But 3D geometry and material rendering um, is used to transport 3D assets. Now, X3D can inline GLTF and uh, several other 3D assets. So what, what you need to X3D is uh, to compose several 3D assets together into a meaningful 3D application. So now that we've talked a little bit about our technology, let's uh, go through some of the evolution of X3D, how we have evolved over the years. Uh, as I mentioned, we started out as VRML, VRML 2.0, then uh, became X3D 3.0. And then uh, in 2003, we had uh, version 3.3. Uh, and between 5 and 13, there were several open source implementations, uh, XJ3D, Freeworld, Instant Reality, BS Contact. And then around 2014-13, uh, in-browser rendering declarative 3D was introduced with uh, WebGL. And uh, native browsers started supporting WebGL. And then we had a couple of more um, uh, open source implementation. These were JavaScript APIs, X3DOM and Xside. So now X3D was available on any browsers without plugins. And now we are integrated with HTML5. Uh, 2019, we published HNM 2.0. And now uh, in 2020, we are in the dark draft version of uh, 4.0. We also have annual Web3D conferences. Uh, it's our 25th year this year, and it will be a virtual conference, which is open to all. Registration will be free. So as you can see over the years, we have evolved by collaborating, by standardizing, 
by working with other standards organization. I'm promoting all the new technologies that are available, available today, like 3D printing, 3D scanning, AR, VR. So how does all this happen? Uh, our volunteers and members work together on these standards. So we have an extensive standardization process uh, and uh, we have several working groups in different domains. X3D working group is an umbrella where all the other domains fall under. We have medical, geospatial, mixed reality, augmented reality, heritage, uh, semantics, uh, design printing and scanning. And we work with several different standards development organization, W3C for our web conversions, OGC for geospatial conversion, uh, Kronos, um, uh, we are working with Kronos with GLTF and WebGL. We are working with DICON uh, to converge our imaging standards. And HL7 is for healthcare mostly, and uh, we are trying to work with them to visualize some of their healthcare data in X3D. I triple we are working with their 3D body processing uh, group uh, where we are trying to, again, uh, visualize uh, their uh, 3D body model requirements in X3D, uh, providing them uh, metadata capabilities. So here's how we are bringing it all together on the consortium along with this working groups um, uh, develop the specification for XDD. This is further ratified uh, through ISO. Meanwhile, we are also working with other standards bodies and we are converging all together and uh, providing these uh, open royalty free standards to our members, our community, which further which um, moves the development further to government and industry and eventually towards mass develop, uh, adoption. Who is using X3D? X3D is used uh, all around the world. Um, a lot of Fortune 500 companies, as you can see, are using it. And we also have many of the government organizations that are using X3D. So here are some of the highlights from 2019 and 2020. Uh, with the COVID pandemic, our members NIH and NPS are providing helpful 3D printing resources during this crisis. Um, we are working diligently on X3D version 4.0, which is in public draft now. HNM 2.0 was released last year. Uh, we have uh, new partnerships with HL7 and IEEE 3D body processing uh, standards organization, uh, where we were keynote speakers at HL7, and then we were one of the key presenters at their uh, 3D body tech conference. Our events, SIGGRAPH uh, 2019 and SWIFT SIGGRAPH uh, Web3D 2019 were very successful. Uh, and we also had a workshop for the Department of Defense for collaborative 3D visualization. So X3D is evolving. We'll have an extensive presentation about all the highlights of X3D, but I just wanted you to have a brief overview of what will be included in X3D. Uh, we will have volume visualization, we will have inline GLTF assets, we have a unified object model, HTML5 integration, 3D printing, 3D scanning. So as you can see, this is going to be a very comprehensive and all-inclusive 3D solution for your business applications. Uh, we also have uh, open source implementations, X3DOM and XI. Again, here's some information about X3D for version 4. And, um, you know, authors have the archival stability of a well-tested, long-lasting specification to build upon. We have two uh, implementations that have been tested. 
and this is something that's uh, that you can build upon. Uh, it's backward compatible with the previous version of X3D. So if you have a model or an application that was built using X3D, uh, 4.0 will be compatible. Our new SDO collaboration, as I mentioned, uh, we are working with the IEEE on visualization of 3D body models and uh, with HL7 uh, to visualize healthcare data. And there's a lot of work happening in each of these working groups and uh, the working group chairs will be presenting later and we'll uh, go over each of these working groups and talk about some of the highlights of uh, what, what, what are the activities activities in 2019 and 2014 in 2020. Uh, we have two new working groups, the Semantic Web and the Web3D User Experience Group. Um, I think the User Experience Group uh, is really working on effective interactive techniques on how to make 3D more usable. So here's a great opportunity for you guys to join uh, Web3D and participate in these working groups and bring your expertise into the consortium as we evolve our X3D standard. There are many benefits uh, of joining the consortium. Um, as you can see, marketing, many marketing opportunities. You can partner with us at conferences. So you can promote your products on our website. You can be our booth partners. Uh, there are a lot of joint uh, grants that we can work on. Uh, networking, uh, we have several industry leaders and researchers, experts um, as uh, members of our consortiums. Uh, they are willing to share their expertise or lessons learned. Um, so these are really some important benefits of becoming a member of this consortium. You have access to Web3D experts, and you have early access to the spec, and you also have an opportunity to be on our board. There are several resources here. Uh, please feel free to um, check us out and find all these resources uh, on our website. We have some uh, upcoming events. Uh, we have webinars this week. Uh, Tomorrow is our Learn X3D webinar where we will be, um, the, our members um, will be having a tutorial on how to build your application using X3D uh, on um, July 5th, uh, sorry, August 5th, uh, we have uh, the X3D browser um, webinar where we will be discussing our open source implementations. And then uh, finally, on August 6th, uh, we have a webinar on X3D authoring tools and the ecosystem of all this, uh, the pipeline and how all the technologies work together. We'll also have a virtual booth at SIGGRAPH 2020, which is starting August 17th. Uh, we hope to see you there. Um, we also have a free virtual Web3D conference. Uh, I mentioned earlier, it's our 25th anniversary. It's from November 9th to the 13th, and it's free. So all this information is available on our website, so please feel free to check, check this out. So I would like to end my presentation by uh, encouraging you to join and participate Join us in building XVD. It's an open ISO certified royalty free a platform to develop your business critical application where long term stability is very important. Uh, we encourage you to go to our website, check out uh, our technology, our, uh, our working groups, our member use cases. Um, suggestions are always welcome. You can send us your questions to x3d public at web3d.org and you can always contact me. My email uh, is here on the slide. And um, we hope to see you again and we hope that you will join us uh, in building x3d. Thank you.